Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. Alright, so this is episode 2 since we hit Town Hall 6, still pretty much at the same progress for walls, and let's go ahead and keep upgrading the rest of the stuff that we built right when we upgraded our Town Hall. So first things first, gonna upgrade that mortar, that's a 12 hour upgrade, pretty cheap, I think it was like 32,000 gold, and then looking at the lab, that finished up since the last episode, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my giants to level 3. Choosing between those and the wall breakers, probably more useful to use the giants since the wall breakers usually don't do too much per upgrade, they really might only help you with like one level of wall so I'm gonna do that and that should be a pretty short upgrade and we'll do the wall breakers right after that all right as far as the wizard tower goes that's 360,000 gold we're only a hundred thousand away so I'd really like to get that done and then also any excess gold that I get I'm gonna use to upgrade my walls like I said I usually like to build up my walls first before I redesign my base sort of just like an OCD thing probably not the most like efficient game wise um, but that's just sort of the way I play and I will go ahead and finish those as soon as I can all right, so for base number one, this guy actually has a really good amount of resources. So I'm going to start to break through, dropping some goblins and archers, sort of just mixing it up a bit. And rather than drop all my goblins through one side, it's sort of beneficial if you make either like one or two entry points, even though this wall sort of does free up at the very end. And now I'm just going to start going ahead and break through and take all of the stuff from the mines and pumps. So looking at the rest of the base, you sort of just have to analyze whether or not it's worth it to break in, drop the rest of my troops, and try to get to the town hall. I really did a great guide on this called my Ultimate Farming Guide, and if you guys search that on Google or on YouTube, just type in Chief Pad Ultimate Farming Strategy, and it'll show you exactly what I do, but I sort of just decide whether it's worth it to go in or not, and I feel like with this base, definitely not worth dropping the rest of my 29 Barbarians as well as 5 Archers, so I'm going to go ahead and surrender it from here and wrap it up for this raid. All right, so in total, we we stole over 190,000, or sorry, 290,000 resources. So definitely a really good raid to start it off for this episode. And let's go ahead and move on to raid number two. So this is more of a typical raid that I've been seeing, over 150, over 160,000 resources. And let's go ahead and take this guy out. So starting off, going to pick off that free building right there. Also going to try to drop a couple of my archers, see if I can pick off anything on the sides. And then from there, probably just going to attack the mines and pumps and steal from the, the collectors once again. So there is a mortar and a wizard tower here, and I am going to take care of those since they are level 1 and pretty easy to take care of. And if I don't take care of those, they might cause a little bit of havoc for the rest of my troops trying to steal from the mines and pumps. And then from here, I'm just going to attack the bottom, drop some barbarians, drop some goblins and archers, and that will be able to do it for this raid. I really didn't think there would be that much inside of these storages. And as you can see so far, there's only just a little bit left inside of those. And actually, it's only going to be 82 gold left in the gold storages. So a pretty good idea not to go any farther with this base. So after two or three more goblins, those guys will take care of the elixir pump. Actually, it turns out there was zero and zero, so definitely surrendering right after that, taking my 22 trophies, moving on to the next raid, and that was definitely a solid victory. So I didn't know exactly how many trophies that guy had available. I'm guessing 33. And let's move on to another raid with over 300,000 resources available inside of the base. So this one is definitely a mix between the mines and pumps. You can see this guy has not logged on yet, and his elixir pumps look about halfway full, as well as his gold storages and elixir storages look pretty full, so I'm going to want to try to take care of as much as I can and spam my goblins throughout his base. So like I always say, you definitely want to take care of the splash damage as soon as possible whenever you're farming, because archer towers and cannons can only take care of one goblin at a time, but if you have a mortar or a wizard tower, they're going to take them out so fast that you really won't even know what to do. So I took care of that mortar first, now I'm storming in through the bottom left, and I'm actually looking pretty good so far in this raid, and I might be able to get three stars if I played my cards right. So there's a mortar on the top, sort of forgot about that, probably should have dealt with that a little bit earlier. Going to drop a couple of archers, those guys should be able to take that out. And once that goes down, there's only one more wizard tower on the bottom right that's going to do splash damage. There are actually two wizard towers, since this guy's a town all six. And if those guys go down, I'll actually be able to win this raid and get three stars. So we're at 65%, 73%, wizard towers are right here. And since all of the resource collectors are down, I can drop my goblins and those guys will attack the wizard tower directly and be able to do a little bit of work. So you can see the power of the wizard tower right there. It's taking care of a lot of my troops. It's actually just spraying those archers down so quickly. Um, but it looks like I'm probably going to have enough troops to get this done as long as something crazy doesn't happen with that wizard tower on the right hand side. And yeah, 100% good to go. And let's go ahead and check out what we got for this raid. 
So 17 trophies, which is less than what we got for a three star that we had earlier, but overall we got so many resources. And the thing is with all of those raids, I really don't need to do any more raiding and let's go ahead and do our upgrades today and that should be able to wrap it up. All right, so wizard tower upgraded level two, only gonna be a one day upgrade like I said. Looking at the rest of my stuff, I can do a lot of my walls, and since I have two builders left, let's go ahead and decide on what we want to do. So I might want to go ahead and upgrade one of these cannons. It's only 200,000 gold, and I probably want to get rid of those as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and do that one right there. And then for the final, final builder hut, I might just spend that on one of my gold mines or elixir pumps and spend the rest of the resources on walls. So one by one, I'm going to do those walls. Finally, this gold mine right here is going to be a two hour upgrade. So I'm going to get that one done. And as far as elixir goes, I can save that for the next episode and see if we can do an upgrade inside of my laboratory. But yeah. That's pretty much going to do it for this Let's Play episode. It was pretty quick. We got a lot of really good bases really quickly, so it's not, it really didn't drag on that long. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will definitely be posting some more soon. And yeah, that's going to do it. Peace out.